Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third unit. So our third unit, the title is Human Intelligence to Decipher Social, Economical, and Ecological Problems. And as you've noticed, these pillars were discussed prior in another discipline, I and S. So we're going to try and relate our previous knowledge of these information of these pillars when discussing English. <clears throat> so at the beginning, we're going to introduce the function of the brain and how the brain impacts our ability to decipher issues that are happening happening around us and try to link our uh, how we analyze situations and how we analyze these pillars based on our daily life and how we can reduce their negative impact. So this will help us in formulating decisions um, when discussing this topic. So as you can see here, when you read the paragraph, you'll understand that we're going to discuss here comprehension of social, economical, and ecological phenomena. So we're going to discuss them in depth and discuss and, and, and indicate diverse um, texts that reflect these issues, whether it was an image or we can read an article, uh, diverse source, uh, sources, in other words, that tackle these aspects. Moreover, um, we're focusing specifically on creativity. So after we discuss them and read diverse articles the, that are differentiated, you must try to uh, deduce which aspect you feel that you are more knowledgeable in and you'd like to discuss, maybe perhaps you can relate to it the most. If uh, I assume most of you will either either cho choose social or ecological, hopefully some of you will be will take the challenge and choose um, economical, as you are all I'm sure risk takers. So you're going to produce a speech that is <clears throat> that should be published on a website. So make sure you're very creative in terms of the language that you're using and how you wish to address the, the, the issue in particular. So which leads us to our related concept, which is audience imperatives and globalization. This is a global issue. It's not just Jordan that is facing social, ecological, and economical issues. You may also tackle the issue in a different manner. Instead of highlighting their negative impact, you can discuss how some countries are moving forward and trying to impl imply the use of social, economical, ecological sustainability in order to prosper, prosper and develop. Many businesses are trying to imply CSR, which is corporate social responsibilities. What does that mean? <clears throat> which leads us to the global context, globalization and sustainability. Our aim is to ensure a sustainable life uh, as we grow up. And our statement of inquiry includes the following, creativity within human interactions can reflect diverse processes to promote sustainability goals across the globe. So also don't forget your speech is, pub is going to be published online for one particular reason is to reach a wide or a mass audience, trying to imply your perspective. So our unit is going to focus on criterion B, organizing how you organize your opinions and ideas in a logical manner by providing evidence and examples of uh, examples and explanations in order to prove your point. So when you when you produce your speech, you need to convince me with the points in order for me to align with your perspective. And this has to do also with producing text. How are you going to persuade me to align with your perspective? Or how are you going to raise awareness regarding this particular matter? So you need to embed the use of literary devices. And throughout the entire unit, we're going to look at many. For instance, what is a simile? You already know how to, what a simile is, but do you necessarily know how to use it? So in this unit, we are going to specify the importance of using these literary devices in writing and understanding their, the impact it creates on the audience. Our ATLs are going to be four ATLs, social collaboration. We're going to listen actively to other perspectives. Please note that everyone's entitled to their own perspective and opinion. So when they produce their speech, we are going to listen to what they have to say regarding the issue, and we are going to reflect accordingly. Thinking, critical thinking. There are, as stated prior, social, economical, and ecological factors were discussed in a previous unit. So I want you to imply your uh, knowledge of and generate new ideas or products or processes um, about this issue. 
You're also going to self-reflect, as you've noticed. I already mentioned this. After you listen to your peers' perspective, you're going to reflect on their writing in addition to yours. This will help you develop new skills, techniques, and strategies for effective learning. And finally, thinking, you're going to transfer these skills. As stated, I gave you an uh, indication, but I didn't explain in depth. I want you to try to deduce the relationship between English and individuals and society. So you're going to make connections between subjects, groups, and disciplines. So if you notice till now, I stated that we're going to generate a speech and we're going to post it online. So your ability to create a website is part of ICT. We're going to integrate ICT with English. As you can see, I found this really cute picture and I thought I should share it with all of you. I and S and English, both of them are going to be linked together for this unit. And I'm going to leave this to the very end when we reach the final part, which is the, as you can see, I'm scrolling down, it is the unit reflection. So when we reflect on the unit according to a mass vision and mission statement and according to our discipline, I want you to try to make this connection and deduce if they're connected or do you feel that perhaps another discipline that you're taking or a unit could be connected even more apart from I and S. So I can't wait to start this unit. It's going to be really fun, engaging. It's a new way to look at a unit, and I hope you enjoy it.